I'm such a huge fan of yours. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, from soul food to beauty shop. I was just watching you the other day and um, was it beauty shop? The salon? The salon, yes, I always mix them up. I was watching you in that with um, Vivica A. Fox. I was watching you in that. It was so good. I really, really love that. So how are you today? I'm well. My name is Brooklyn, by the way, and I'll be asking you a couple of questions. Okay. So I hope you're ready for it. So, yeah. um... Of course, welcome to Worldwide Entertainment TV. Thank you for having an interview with us today. We greatly appreciate it. Um, what got you into the entertainment business? Well, originally, um, I started out as a dancer turned choreographer. So I wore, I wore those two hats for quite a few years um, and created works that you know a lot of people know, like... Uh, Love Don't Cost a Thing for Britney Spears or Bye Bye Bye, which I won the MTV Music Award. I worked with Prince, uh, Michael Jackson, Spice Girls. So that was really kind of like the quintessential thing for me was dance. And after all my dreams came true with dancing, I started acting. Could you tell us a little bit about um, the music industry and what you have? Because I know a lot of people talk about the negatives and the positives. Um, can you tell me a little bit of what you had gone through being in the music industry? Well, for me, I mean, it was it was all good for me. It was all, it was all good because it was my learning experience. Tour life was fun. It was amazing. Um, you know, traveling on buses across the U.S. was fun. Um, and then you got to perform in front of 16 to 20,000 people a night. So for me, it was like every experience that I had was kind of like breathtaking because they were all new experiences because they were all new groups that I worked with. I mean, there was a huge difference when I choreographed I Want to Send You Up for Color Me Bad to when I choreographed, you know, things that make you go home for CNC Music Factory. So it was always, you know, a different thing happening. But it was, um, it was always new and fun. That's good. So, how did you feel winning an MTV award? How did that, how did that feel, you receiving an MTV award? Were you nervous like, when you went up there? Like, like, like 20 million bucks. Um, <laughs> um, like, like, you know, asking your personal genie for whatever you wanted. It was like the best feeling of I told you so. It was the most humbling experience to finally touch that silver man and hold it and go, this is mine, you know? Yeah, that's that's wonderful. I can just imagine how you were feeling when you're sitting in, in your seat and they called your name. Were you kind of shocked that they called your name? Were you, were you like... No, you know, I, the song, the video, the dance steps were really so big at that time. I was like, there's no way we can't win, but it's still, you know surreal when it happens i know all the time um so i have a, um i know that you have many 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 talents um but one of them is book writing so how did you get involved in um you know writing books and things of that nature from dance to like well, doing well, that really for me it was um when when i was writing my book my first book intimate thoughts in the spirit of change was really me writing down what was going on in my life it was really me just documenting literally my life. It was my journal of my life. And then I put it out and it got nominated for an image award. So it was like, you know, it was just me explaining and journaling my life. And so when that book did well, I thought, here, let me put something else that, that is going to inspire somebody. And that's when I, when I put Ain't That the Truth out. Um, and then following Ain't That the Truth, I now have pregnant with thought. I think, therefore, I am. So I, I do books based upon, you know, what I want to offer the world. That's nice. So, um, are you going to be writing any any books? Um, can we expect anything in that area in regards to in, in regards to that? Well, right now, um, I have pregnant with thought out. It's it's on my website, DarrenHenson.com. People are purchasing it all the time. So um, right now we're still working that book and um, it's still finding its legs and its feet. You know, the, the, the book cover was very shocking to men and women because it's me pregnant on the cover. <laughs> um, if that were 
impossible, <laughs> but the book is called Pregnant with Thoughts. So I wanted to do something that was really, you know, shocking and kind of edgy. And so that's what that book is. So so how did that come about? You're, you're saying that you're, you're actually on the cover being pregnant. How did that, like, what made you think of that concept to go with? Well, I actually woke up with it. I, I was inspired by it. I, you know, when I woke up, I, I literally woke up with it. It was like, we're all pregnant with thoughts. And then I found out it was biblical to be pregnant with thought, to give birth to thought. Um, and then so many pastors and preachers and bishops, which I had a bishop write the foreword, Bishop R. Blakes wrote the foreword to the book. It was so inspiring because it made sense. It's, it's biblical to be pregnant with thought. Nice. So, you we know so far that you are a choreographer, a dancer, a creator. We know that you write books, but we also know that you act. And what, like what I was telling you about Soulful. So, how was that experience transitioning from from doing dance to writing a book to to acting? Like, how was that transition? Was it an easy transition for you, or? It was, a, it was a pretty simple transition because all of it is all of it is show business. But what I had to do, which was really important, was sit down and focus on what it was that I really wanted. Like I really had to focus on what was next. I really had to decide I want to act. I really had to see the vision of myself on TV and in films. So it's like gotta stop running and stand still and then collect the thought hey I'm gonna take that if you don't mind I'm, I'm gonna take that um, well, it's, it's not mine <laughs> um, it's what it is okay so um, so when it comes to you have portrayed a lot of different um, characters which one would you say is close closest to you if, if I was to watch one movie what can I say which one can I point out and say you know what he actually told me this is something that's very similar to his life or something that you can relate to. I think Lem Van Adams on Soul Food, I was very close to. Um, but this character that I'm playing in my new TV show, which airs tonight on BET, yes. The Family Business, Orlando Duncan, I'm very similar to him as well. But in a movie, I would say when I played Jim Brown in the Express. Now, I'm not a football player per se, but his ideology of thought, what goes into being a man, what goes into being good, what goes into thinking, what goes into being prepared, I would say Jim Brown. Nice, nice. Who I love, who I love very much. So how did you feel about being nominated for the NCAAP award? How did you feel about that? Being nominated to me. Being nominated. Yeah, being nominated, yeah. How did you feel for about that? For NAACP award, um, well, you know, for a TV series, we won on Soul Food. Um, so I, I touched, <coughs> you know, already. Um, but to win a NAACP award for my individual work is still desired. So I pray to win one for this book, Pregnant With Thought, or one of the roles in one of the movies I have coming out, or the TV series. Yes. So we know that it's debuting tonight. What can we expect from the first episode? Like, do you think it's going to be um, gut um, crunching? Do you think it's going to be suspenseful? What do you? What do you? What can I expect from from it tonight? We're gonna we're gonna have you on the edge of your seats. There's love. There's passion. There's war. There's power, there's um, control, there's um, truth, lies, and it's going to have you on the edge of your seat. You're going to want to come back every week to see this show. And when, Family business. when does it it's air? All about when, when, do, when can we expect it? Every, every Tuesdays? Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. on BET. Okay, so I have a question. How was it with your cast members? Like, was it easy for you guys to mesh together when you guys were doing scenes? Was it kind of difficult? How was it? It's, it's really an amazing class. I mean, we have, you know, Ernie Hudson. We have Valerie Pettiford, Armand Asante, Michael John White. Um, 
we, I mean, we got some major players, Gary Dordan, uh, Malik Yoba, Javicia, um, um, uh, you know, Miguel Nunez, um, uh, Sean is on it. Like, I mean, we got some amazing cast members. I mean, it's off the chain, Arrington. I mean, everybody brings it. Like, everybody brings it. Tammy Roman, everybody brings it. It's, it's a strong cast. I probably, I'd say we're the strongest cast on television. I'll be able to say that at 9 p.m. Yes, yes, yes. Do, do you find it hard to work with people who's experienced or non-experienced? Have you, with actors? Well, of course, it's easier to work with people that experience and a lot more fun. You know, I tell people who want to act, stop worrying about being famous. Study your craft. Pay attention to what you're doing as an actor, what an actor does, which is study life, which is study emotions, which is study acting. Um, stop worrying about being famous. You know, when people who might want to come on set or people who have the opportunity to, to work, be prepared. Be prepared. Because I know directors and producers that have to change you. If, if you're not on your mark, if you're not hitting your lines, if you're not delivering, they will change you. They have no shame about changing actors in movies or TV shows these days. Not at all. Is there any, before we go, is there any hope to work with in the near future? Or soon? I, I, I don't even, even use the word hope because hope uh, affords the opportunity of it not happening. Okay. I would say, I would say desire. I would say desire. Denzel Washington, Delray Lindo, John Travolta, Sam Jackson. I mean, Bellicio Del Toro. Like, yeah, I got a lot of people. That's amazing. Well, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to speak to Worldwide Entertainment TV. And please let everybody know where what um, where they can um, tune in to check out um, your show tonight. Absolutely. Tune in to BET 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and watch the family business. Follow you on Instagram at I am Darren D. Henson. Or on Twitter, Mr. D. Head, or my Facebook, Darren DeWitt Henson, and my website, where you can see anything about me, is DarrenHenson.com. Yes. But God bless you. Thank you so much, and God bless you too. And I cannot wait to see this first episode. And shout out to my publicist, Sasha Stoltz. I appreciate her. Thank you so much. Love. I thank you too. Have a great night. The all-new Worldwide Entertainment TV website is finally here. Go to WorldwideEntertainmentTV.com to watch our new streaming service now. Stay updated by staying tuned.